And we have breaking news right, right now. Let's go to Pete Williams. Pete, what is it? Jose, uh, we've been uh, told by several law enforcement officials that a man was arrested overnight near the home of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. He was armed with a gun, a knife, and pepper spray and told authorities that he was there to kill the justice. Now, he was not arrested at the home of the justice. He was arrested nearby. Law enforcement officials tell us that the man actually arrived by taxi and was seen by uh, police and other law enforcement officials that were near the justice's house. So he was arrested. He was taken into custody. Um, it's a little unclear to us right now whether this case is going to be handled by the Maryland state authorities or by the U.S. Marshal Service, which provides security for uh, Supreme Court justices as well as other federal judges, or by the FBI. Um, but the man is just said to be from California. Uh, he had said he had told the police when he was arrested that he wanted to do this. Uh, but that's just about all we know right now. Uh, the Supreme Court hasn't had any comment yet about the case, although they're certainly well aware of it. The justice is aware of it. Uh, it it's been a, a, a time of heightened tension around the Supreme Court. And there have been, as you know, some public demonstrations outside Justice Kavanaugh's house and other members of the court. And ever since the leaked opinion of uh, Sam Alito's draft opinion in the Roe v. Wade case, the Mississippi abortion case, there's been a non-scalable high fence that's been around the Supreme Court building itself. So it's been a, a tense time here in Washington, a tense time for the court and for the justices. We hope to have more details on this uh, shortly, Jose. But to repeat, a man was arrested this morning. We're told it was about b between 1 and 1.30 this morning after arriving in a taxi near the home of uh, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, armed with weapons and saying he wanted to kill the justice.